I'm adding mobile support to the dream game. Realizing 75% of Roblox players are on phones, I have slept on mobile compatibility long enough. Today the game is gonna go from eh, I guess it's alright, to bro this game is insane! Or at least I hope so. If we take a look at our current mobile system, it's alright but it leaves a lot to be desired. We have wheelies, stoppies, gearing up and down, dismounting the bike, which is nice that they have designated buttons, but the rest is left to Roblox's joystick. Now I didn't know this before making this game, but driving games on the joystick, uh, turns out it's not a great thing. Especially when there's an in-air controller, guys, the joystick makes it pretty much impossible to land and very unsatisfying for what will probably be the biggest player base on this game. Oh yeah, and we're also missing the ability to do wheelie tricks like one-handers, seat standers, and tank spreaders. So the first thing I want to do is just make a list of every single button I'm going to need on this mobile layout. Wheelies, stoppies, three trick options, steering, gas, brakes, left, right, up, down, and so much more. That, that's actually it. I, it'll be okay. I took a screenshot on my phone in the game, then I hopped into Photoshop and started designing what I think will be the new layout. And just getting a nice idea together so Robo and Panda can actually make it work. The most important controls are the base movements forward, backwards, left, and right, so those buttons will be the biggest on the player's screen. Up next would be actions like wheelies and stoppies, so those are pretty important too, but not as important, so they're gonna be a little bit smaller. The last thing we have is the advanced actions, like shifting up and down, dismounting the bike, and the three tricks you'll be able to do. They'll be even smaller than all the other buttons, but still not tiny. Now that the idea and the layout is done, We'll just toss it into Roblox Studio and have Panda make it functional. Guys, it is time to test out the game on mobile and see how we like it, okay? Beforehand, I wasn't a big fan. Now? Wow. It's, it's actually nuts. I feel like I can actually play the game on my phone now. I've tried showing this game to friends at the lot when we go ride bikes, and I just crash after crash. It's pretty embarrassing, I'm not gonna lie. But now, yo, your boy's kinda goaded. I don't fall as much, it feels way more satisfying to play, so I would say mobile compatibility is now at least a B plus to an A minus. Still a couple things we can work on to make it even better, but I'm sure we'll add those as we figure it out. With mobile compatibility being a million times more satisfying now, let's move on to my next thing on the list. And that is the minimap. Our current minimap has been the same, uh, forever, pretty much since it was just bricks as blockouts in the city, and now I want to change it. Having the colors is cool and all, but I think a grayscale minimap would be way more cool. Definitely not stealing it from GTA. That idea is purely original. Anyways, to make the new minimap how I want to, we need to render each thing separately. Number one, the terrain, number two, the roads, and number three, all of the buildings. Then we can take these into Photoshop and grayscale them. Pasting a color overlay on each layer, definitely not stealing it from GTA. Now, while I was in Photoshop, I sort of zoomed in and I saw a lot of inconsistencies. So I painted over those like little dots on the road or terrain kind of glitching out in the render. And I just cleaned up the minimap as much as I possibly could before bringing it back into studio. And I also painted the tunnels in as well. Anyways, boom, grayscale is achieved. Let's see how it looks in game. All right, guys, here it is. Uh, I forgot to anchor this bridge. We'll discuss that. At, we'll, we'll fix it, okay? Anyways, the new minimap is in and bros. I think it looks so much better. It's more of a professional look, just overall a lot nicer in my opinion. And look at this. We got rid of that blue water that all of you guys told us to get rid of and we've changed that out for a blurred background, so now you can see the back as well, and it just looks just nicer, I guess. We've also been working on something up here. If we go to locations, it will show you these locations. If we go to activities, it will show you just the races, which uh, I guess that's a little bit of a bug. The stunt park should be an activity as well. We'll get to that later. And if we go to players, it will only show players. We're also working on waypoints, but that's not in just yet. But man, this map looks so, so much better, man. So much cleaner, everything. And then when we get some colored vectors, uh, I think it's gonna look even better than it does now. But with mobile compatibility pretty much 100% in, and the new minimap, 
that actually matches the buildings we have now and looks so sick. The game is closer than ever. If you've made it this far in the video, I have a little bit of an announcement, okay? And this might put a little bit of stressor on the team. Guys, uh, what, what month is this right now? April, I think? At the time of recording this video, it is April 3rd. I hope to have an alpha release with the ability to make money riding the bike, customize your bike, unlock wraps for your bike. That might be it for alpha, but I plan to have an alpha release this month, guys. So get excited. I know I am. And I will see you guys in the next one.